What about you and Polo G? Because I remember a long time ago, you and Polo G really didn't have like the best relationship. Oh, because you put out a diss song about him like nah, on your channel, right? Not yeah, not you, I, but I, I, you shot I, the video. Yeah, yeah, I got booked for a video. But I ain't gonna lie, that was like I say, that was early on in my career. That was early. That was so early to the point. Polo was reaching out to me, asking me, "Do I shoot videos and do interviews?" Like, mm. so you, it's like that early. So it's like I'm not really up on like how every how all this go i'm just knowing you pay me for a service i'm doing it i'm not moving with emotions i'm not even thinking about none of this when i put up to the video i didn't even notice what i was shooting mm. but i'm seeing all the other cameraman shoot this videos i thought this was part of the game shit yeah, regular. and uh me and polo had an interview set up but after that he didn't show up and i understand why like like i say i never got mad at him for not showing up i honestly still fuck with him because like i say he never did nothing to try to hold me back. I just interviewed his sister. But we don't got like no friendship relationship. We just got like mutual friends. Where is OTE Kump at? You say you got arrested recently because that's the video it was for, right? Yeah, oh yeah, OTE Kump. Shout out uh, OTE Kump. You definitely broke him because that's the first time I even seen him was on your page and I ain't gonna lie. That song he did, I forgot the name of it, the video you shot, but he, he was talking crazy in the video. That was around the time everybody was doing that 51 Dead Ops. It was Expedia members save on travel. A lot of people made them 51 dead. Whoa, Steve. Just like a. Uh, oh, that's what, yeah, he did remix. Yeah. All right, for that's sure. Like a wave. That's why I, ain't, I thought everybody doing this. But I understand the issue was it's not that I did the video, it's the way the video is edited. Because once I edited it, I sent it to them. But they had you edit in like disrespectful, disrespectful. Yeah, and I think people took that as like me, and it's like you send a video back and they send you timestamps with videos and pictures. Like put this here, this and that. I don't know. Maybe and when I like rewind, rewind and look back, I probably could have denied it. But I didn't think that's how the camera game went. I thought people pay you and you do what they ask for. Like I'd be mad if I pay somebody for a video and you tell me like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I mean, in 99% of video editing or video production or entertainment, that would be the case. Drill rappers would be like the one situation where that might be different. But I remember even like, I've, I remember a few situations over the years where a rapper had beef with a producer for making a beat that they got dissed on. <laughs> Which if you think about that, like the producer is really not involved with what the fuck the rapper ends up doing with the beat once he makes it, you know? That's how Chicago is for real though. Not like... They be mad at people who make beats. They be mad at people who make clothes. Mm. Like, if too many people wear this clothing brand, they not going to wear that clothing brand. It's like, that shit, I don't understand that shit. That shit weird. That's one thing with Desto Dub and the Awful Lot Cough Syrup is I've always observed how he has to stay super impartial. I mean, it's like, a, that's a rare thing to have a clothing line in L.A. that the Bloods and the Crips and the whoever fuck with. Like uh, Everybody you know, fuck with it type shit. You know yeah, because he don't really, even though he fucks with certain people more than other people, he never makes it like he's in the middle of the shit, which I think is smart. Yeah, it seems like like a lot of places they let you do that shit, but like Chicago, people let you do it for the most part, but a lot of people don't fuck with that shit. And I don't get it. Unless like it's a survival thing. I understand not want to be around people who are around people that want to harm you. Mm. Like that's an uncomfortable feeling, but to not wear their clothes and go to that extent, that's weird. Mm. Recently, probably like maybe like three weeks ago, I seen you post like a story because you had the warehouse in Chicago. What was it called? Uh, HQ Chicago. Uh, HQ Chicago, where everybody, I think even the Muscatu girls shot like their famous videos, and everybody used to come through and shoot there. But you posted the other day, you was like, I no longer am associated with the studio, and you ain't really fucking with everybody. No, nah, I ain't gonna say I ain't fuck with everybody. I'm fucking with the majority of them. It's just. So what happened with, because now you don't, is that studio still there? Nah. It's a, it's a new one, though. But I'm saying that location is still there. They still using it, but it's not nah, underneath it's, the same it's, name. It's a new location, too. That you own? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's whatever that other shit is, I have nothing to do with that. So that's, you, that's a whole new business. They just ran with the same name. But you was a part of that business. It was you, Billy. Yeah, but what I'm telling you is that's not the same business. Yeah. What, what's going on now? They ran with that name because the 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 notoriety came. Like, but they changed was, locations. Was, it's we we agreed to shut the business down. We closed it. 
So they kind of did some snake shit by like just keep running with the name that you helped build. They did a lot of shit. They ran off with all the equipment that was in there. They did. When we first opened that shit, shit up, I see the, our first month, I believe we probably made like, I be forgetting. It was like we had twenty thousand, thirty thousand, forty thousand dollar months type shit, you know, with no equipment, just empty. So it was like this happening within the first month. This shit going crazy, but but what, we wasn't putting the money in our pockets. We was putting it back into the business so we can. Get, you know, have stuff. Buy more and props, shit like that. The price of wood was high, and we need a lot of wood for these sets. So a lot of this shit is going into this, so we can uh, build. You know, so imagine like for uh, and in the beginning, a lot of us didn't have LCs and shit like that. Billy, which was my homie and exclusive, which was Billy homie. I didn't know him. It was an exclusive dream to do this. Like, this is what he wanted to do. This is one of his dreams. So this is something that he wanted to do. He thought of it, whatever. And uh, they brought it to us. And with us not having the HQ Chicago LLC or whatever, they had an LLC called Boot Up Media. So this is how they're able to move into this building under this. So they got the business bank account under that. Mind you, we all own us. But they got the business bank account under a whole nother LLC and from the beginning I've been asking for access to it and they'll be spending me I'm asking for the check statements they're spending me and other people in the group they want to operate off of the these are homies just trust them thing and I feel like when you're doing business it's, you shouldn't rely on this is your homie like fuck that because if you're doing good business it shouldn't be nothing to hide so for the first two years we investing money into the building whatever the bullshit. We're not paying ourselves. Now when we close it, we agree to, to end it because, you know, it's not going how we want it to go no more or whatever. These people, we they said we're going to throw the throw the equipment away because there's no talks about another location. They take all of that equipment. Mind you, this is what we're working for for two years to put this in here. We're not putting this money in our pocket. Yeah. We're putting it in the building. They take all that shit and bring it to another location. Take the name was not being cocky because I know to be humble, but I'm gonna be honest. Like my name is what pushed that. Don't none of them have a face or a name. Billy kind of do, but he don't even show his face or talk, so he don't have that same effect. So it's like HQ Chicago when people go there, they think of 16. So to take all the equipment, not tell us, form an, another business with three of y'all or some oh, shit, right. and how the rest of us just out not knowing. That's hey, it's kind of yeah. out. You just you just stole and you ran with the the name. Like I don't care if you start a new business. Cause we agreed to end it. I didn't want to do this no more. Yeah, you can start a new business, but why take the name when it's attached to me? So I was just posting that just to tell people. I wasn't saying don't go, just don't go. Think you thinking you supporting me? Like if you want to go and you want to use it, cool. But a lot of people do it to support me, and I ain't want that to be the case no more. Yeah, I had a lot of famous shit happen in that uh, studio though. Like a lot of moments. Like one of the biggest moments from Chicago is the Muska Two Girls. Performing, I mean, they 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 did the song and recorded the video there, right? Yeah, and yeah, then that was crazy show. Then it, you was there when they shot it, or yeah, all right for sure. Then months later, they ended up breaking up. They, it ain't the same, Melo, Amari, and all them beefing and shit. How do you feel about Amari and uh, Melo recently getting into a fight, getting thrown right. through a glass window? Yeah, I, ain't gonna, I hate it to see that because I like them together. I ain't, I don't like that beef shit with them. They all talented. I ain't really like to see that shit. Was she all right after she went through that window? Amari? Yeah, she got all cut up. She and got shit. cut up and shit. She she healing and shit. But I talked to her. She said she's going to come up here. So. Oh, that'd be cool. That's, yeah. That was a brutal video. I'm not used to seeing girls do shit like that to each other. Yeah, Melo out yeah. here <laughs> packing <laughs> shit out, though, right? What's up with Melo? She, yeah, leave she Melo a, alone, man. <laughs> yeah, Melo out here going crazy. Melo's right? a boogie man, huh? She, man, what? <laughs> boogie woman. Yeah. But yeah, I don't. I, I like. I just like their music. I like her music. Yeah, like, I feel like Melo, Cash, Amari, Money, Autumn. They, they all go crazy. crazy. Pretty Leah, Key Glow. It's a couple girls that's like they might not be as popular, but they they hard. Like I, I like the wave with the women right now. Nah, mm -hmm. for sure. Shout out to uh to everybody uh in Chicago. All the females they got a wave going on. I fuck with uh I fuck with uh Cash. Now, shout too. out my homie CCBKE too. She all she right, hard. Man. All right, that's the end of the video.
shit crazy though. Crazy situation, man, but 